Welcome to patch 1.33. I was just trying to see if I got my save because I didn't want to do anything until they came out with this update. So it seems like it say I got the amount of ether that I retained was I killed Hyperion. Hyperion is the, the source of the first music, uh, the source of the song and here in the Echoing Ruins. So it looks like it registered because I'm headed to the Fractured Waste now. It's the fifth area. Oh, oh, it's, oh that's just a projectile attack. <laughs> so no enemies in the cycle, at least right away, not yet. But I managed to get everything here. But the first thing I want to mention is that you guys might want to, I, at least for me, I recommend disabling automatic updates on your PlayStation 5, at least until you finish this game. At least that's what I'm going to do because this update had the potential to erase your data and the developers um, even said that uh, you should disable automatic updates um, before even trying to implement this update because it's a chance it could possibly remove your run. You have to start all over again. But I did it before I even did the update. And uh, earlier today I was trying to play a little bit of it, but I had some connection issues. So I ended up taking out the boss on uh, all screen. So I made it to the, a whole different area. But I wanted to mention that, but going forward, I'm not gonna turn it back on until I finish this game, or at least for the automatic updates. Because who knows what the next patch is gonna do? Who knows what the next update or whatever else they choose to add and change into this game? Is gonna do it could it just it could affect your your save progress I think it's very risky at this point but I never had to do that with any game except this so I'm not taking that chance I'm just going to keep it disabled until this game is uh, all the way finished but um, I just thought I'd throw that out there first but now I'm just gonna go through the patch notes that's gonna be linked in the description for you guys to check out and I'm just gonna talk about them and I really like this game for what it is even though it's, it's, it's not easy but it's a lot of fun and just a brand new exclusive for next gen. But um, I don't know what else they're gonna possibly end up changing going forward, but I'm really enjoying the game for what it is. I made it past at one and I'm just on a different planet now. But let's get into the, the patch notes now. Fix the issue where certain trophies might not unlock under specific gameplay conditions. And here's a note, missing trophies will need to be replayed to unlock so say for example, maybe if you kill like a boss and you're probably, some of you guys are probably way ahead, way ahead of where I am from this part, because I'm, I'm just starting at two. But say for example, you kill a boss, you, you don't get the trophy, you're going to have to fight that boss all over again or whatever task, necessary task that needs to be completed, you'll probably have to do that all over again. So I haven't really took a look at the trophies because um, I've just been enjoying the game for what it is. So you guys that might be trying to platinum this game, you guys are probably gonna have to have to just start all over and do a completely different run. And the bad thing is, you can this game doesn't have a, a method in which you can select the file. You can select the file that you want to play on. The current run that you're on, you're stuck with until you finish the game, unless you start all over again and redo everything that you did. You're just gonna have to go after the collectibles and whatever the case may be or whatever the case, whatever sort of trophy you're trying to get, it, you're just going to have to most likely do another run, unfortunately. But it says that it's not going to register. But let's read the rest of the the other patch notes. Who knows what else they're going to do with this game. Multiple stability fixes addressing rare crashes in the hang. Now, fortunately for me, luckily, I didn't even experience any sort of crashes, even making it all the way here. Even killing Hyperion, I didn't have any sort of uh, crashes whatsoever during the boss fights or any sort of um, combat sequences and stuff like that gunfights or whatever and I'm not even bothering to put my system in the rest mode I want to say this too before I continue because I'm playing so many other games so once I finish a stage I'll get to a point where I can uh, where I know it's going to save once you complete the level or kill that particular boss but I figured out the, tra the checkpoint systems as well it's the reconstruction rooms that you only can use one time. So once you die, you come back to that re that particular reconstruction room, and then that's it. And then if you die again, you just have to start all over from that particular uh, stage and get back to the boss. But that's just something that uh, I wanted to share. So no crashes yet. So uh, hopefully it be it works better for some of you guys out here out there playing this game. So here's the rest of the notes. Fix issue with pre-order suits occasionally, blo occasionally blocking item collection and door opening. 
And that's something else that I haven't experienced it, where doors would remain shut and you couldn't even open them. I was able to open almost every door. Of course, if they needed a key, of course, it's going to remain locked if you don't have like a, a the right key to open a key in your inventory to open that particular door. But all the doors have been opening from uh, the game, at least from my progress so far. But I uh, hope you hope that's going to be fixed with some of you guys having that problem. Fix incorrect healing behavior when resting in Helios. That's something I never even experienced. Configuration changes to increase the number of scout courses available in biomes. It says in all biomes. So is that for the the scout logs? For people, if you're trying to get all the the scout logs to collect for a particular trophy, maybe that'll help. So you get an increased chance of finding the ones that you haven't occurred and you haven't really encountered yet throughout your uh, playthrough. And then just to wrap up, here's the last two: fix issues with certain custom controller mappings. And then numerous minor fixes and improvements. But there's nothing else as far as the patch notes go uh, for this update. Well, I just wanted to share and talk about it. But I'm curious to see what some of you guys think about the game. And maybe you might be on the fence. And maybe you consider trying this game. It's, it's completely up to you guys. But I like the game for what it is. And just when I watched the gameplay and they first showed it, I immediately thought of Mass Effect. Oh, I got another piece of ether, so that's going to say, even if I die. <laughs> also lost my parasite, too. I had the one that would uh, survive a killing blow. Those are one of the best ones. But I got Mass Effect vibes from playing this. Dead Space. Anthem, if you want to put it in the equation. But I'm enjoying it for what it is. I don't know what this is going to do. But I'm definitely going to close this out and continue a different day. Because I already killed a boss. But I enjoy the combat, just everything that you could possibly do in the game, especially the combat music. What's up? Boom! Hit him with that sword. It's one of the best, uh, I think it's one of the best PlayStation games that you can play. But once you get used to it, you just, uh, every boss has a, a, a learning curve and each phase is different. So you're, you're, you're constantly learning more about the enemy, the enemies that you encounter, the bosses and stuff. So get better and improve but um that's basically it i'm not going to keep on running around but i got i got to my point i got to the i killed hyperion and then i made it to the fracture waste to make sure it saved my data so i'm going to just further keep on i'm just going to keep auto updates automatic updates and disable until this game is uh completed from the story portion of course and then i'll turn it back on but I just don't recommend keeping it, turning it back on just because this update is out. So I'm just going to keep it off and I don't think it's worth the risk anyway because uh, you might end up having to start over.